welcome to the scientific investor channel today the overall crypto market is in green and as we can see xrp is kind of leading the package here so that's actually a good news for the xrp community because we've been waiting for something like this from a long time now say from the previous downtrend uh, from late july uh late june early july so that's like uh, six seven months of a uh, downtrend now we have uh, something changing in the price action and um, yes it looks more like the history is kind of rhyming itself we have similar patterns occurring in the daily chart so yes we'll actually discuss through all of this uh, considering the number of touches what uh, the price action how the price action was uh, attending the support levels and uh, resistance levels then uh, we do have a lot of information to share today like uh, some from south korea showing fundamentally positive news they are looking you know in a positive way towards the uh, crypto industry or uh, rather blockchain and uh, distributed like the technology they are looking at it in a new asset class mentioning it as fourth industrial revolution and then moneygram showing you know it's having oh it's online transactions are growing and uh, during the holidays they actually had a lot of uh, volume there so uh, then uh, yes we do have other tweets uh, showing some more insightful information but uh, prior to that i would like to kindly request you guys uh, if you guys like the content i provide on a regular basis please do support the channel hit the subscribe and like button now this is the first one and this is tweet directly from moneygram showing that moneygram achieves record online transaction now when we go into the article you know they actually uh, highlight that as part of our digital transformation we are on a mission to mobilize the movement of money said alex holmes the chairman and ceo of moneygram and he added the success of our mobile app throughout the year and especially during this holiday season demonstrates the value consumers place not only on our user experience but also on our global distribution of networks so that's actually cool so even during the holidays uh, when uh, customers are actually using something like this for moneygram that's actually fundamentally positive for moneygram as well as ripple now this from uh, mac attack xrp showing boom xrp to hit 50 dollar if it grabs at least 10 percentage of surf's global market share so if we go into that article it shows that like ripple has developed some impressive payment solutions like it's ripple net and on-demand liquidity and with on-demand liquidity designed to utilize an asset that's xrp for cross-border fund transfer now uh, lately xrp has been adopted by various institutions and blockchain projects with the latest being coda now as such it's pretty possible that ripple could soon be eating deep into swift's market share some expect the company to grab around 10 percentage of swift's market share in the near future now yes if you know as we uh, discussed previously we know the fundamentals of the technology you know the technology cannot be replaced by something like swift and their existing work if they want to do that i don't think they can uh, repair or modify the existing framework instead they have to build something new right if they want to get a different result they can't do it in a similar way they should do it in a different way right now this from jack the rippler it's showing that the south korean telecom giant sk that's actually a big uh, institution in south korea is set to debut a new blockchain powered donations platform it has developed using ripple technology now looking at the article we can see that this uh, the platform is named as chain z and uses a ripple blockchain network as well as a korean one pint stable coin named social value coin for donations so what you have to see is the ripple blockchain network they are actually using that so they have developed this using the technology from a ripple so you can actually understand you know countries like south korea which are in the oecd nations are actually using the technology like this so automatically the uh, other company, uh, nations like say japan or yeah japan is already high on uh, ripple i understand that i completely am yeah, completely aware of that but uh, when we look at other nations like say uh, pakistan india they are working on like they are building the uh, rails uh, doing the plumbing but 
not yet we can say that the utilization of xrp is on uh, full load it's not actually completed yet they're still working on but when nation actually one nation goes like this others are tempted to follow that now there's a the next one from king solomon and it's also showing that korea's presidential committee on fourth industrial revolution proposed to bring cryptocurrencies into the mainstream of finance through a number of measures including derivatives now the reason why i'm highlighting this is uh, like if i uh, i'll just uh, go to my uh, twitter account i actually showed uh, previously like a okay we'll refer to this one right so when we can see this yeah the major uh, volume is actually coming from united states dollar but we can see that the next one is kind of korean won so you can understand the importance of south korea in uh, the xrp community because when uh, the coin was actually pumping last time it was uh, there was a lot of volume coming from south korea and the uh, south korean exchanges had uh, xrp in a premium like the price was higher say three four five percentage extra now there's actually the entire report in this uh, the key is that the korean government has to gradually allow indes institutional investors to deal in crypto assets and promote over-the-counter desks dedicated to institutional investors trade the committee said in a report to support such a move nation's fintech sector should develop custody solutions for cryptocurrency to avoid reliance on foreign custodians so that means they are actually going to come up with domestic custodians for crypto assets addressing crypto exchanges the committee said the government should look into bringing an in a licensing scheme or guidance the industry is currently loosely controlled via guidance so yes they are actually looking at regulating the industry a bit more to uh, provide a bit more clarity and you know safety for uh, those who are investing in it now there's the next one from green eggs and ham green eggs and ham and it's showing that i was blown away by what the intelligent developers are building uh, join me in taking a look at their uh, latest demo like this is actually showing you the future of money as we know that the fiat currencies are kind of failing all around the world uh, you, the inflation uh, you know the purchasing power of their uh, most of the fiat currencies are dropping on a regular basis and it's really hard for a common man to live on that so yes the future of money is going to be different now this is our next one actually showing from xrp uh, underscore stewart showing european banking association emphasis promise on distributed ledgers now in this particular one what i like to highlight is yes he has already highlighted that but some extra is like crypto technologies are a key subject for further study for transaction banking and payment professionals especially against the background of evolving financial infrastructures we just talked in the initial right if sift if swift actually want to come up as a competitor it should actually uh, bring up a new framework instead of uh, modifying the existing framework which was built you know decades before so uh, yes the next one is the paper describes ripple as an asset centric technology yes we know that the asset is xrp which focuses on exchange of digital representations of existing assets that's currencies metals stocks bonds in our previous video we saw that like gold bullion is actually operating in ripple net they are using uh the ripple net so yes metals and uh, say if you have an assets are actually now passing through the ripple net in a combination with shared ledger now eba represents four potential use case for asset centric technologies including remittance and real-time settlement nothing that technologies like ripple merit close attention in a context of current european uh, drive towards achieving instant payments in relation to inter psp peer to uh, peer payment uh, system in the general the paper includes fidar's implementation of ripple as a real world example so they are actually showcasing fidar's implementation of uh, ripple as a real world example now the fed strategy for improving us payment system you can actually see this of the four categories of the paper defines eba concludes the asset centric technologies like ripple hold the most promise advising the industry to stay aware of development so yes we as a community say the xrp community is trying to focus on almost all the developments happening 
on a regular basis and try to concentrate on our fundamentals try to hold on our asset because it says currently asset centric developments are potentially the most interesting crypto technology related category for transaction banking and the payments industry this conclusion ca has been drawn based on the fact that the developments in other areas are still impeded by technological and regulatory challenges so yes if we are to look at something you should be looking at this like hold the most promise that's a ripple now advising the industry to stay aware of the development so if you are not staying aware you should be put behind you know others will actually move on about you now yes we can see that the last hour 24 hours seven days most of our favorite cryptos top 10 are in green especially xrp so we'll actually go through the chart of xrp and then uh, btc to understand what has been happening and what just changed so uh, this is chart in which i have just used some lines i'm not using any technical indicators but once we discuss through this we'll uh, put on stay macd and stochastic rsi so the first one yeah we have discussed it previously but i want to highlight something here say we've been uh, traveling to the downside or in a bearish trend from say last five six months and uh, it was more or less like acting in a similar way but here we thought that the price is going above it just broke above the resistance line and we thought it's going to be positive but if you look at here on a different time frame you can understand that yes that same happened here the price went above but it was a fake out but as this is in a daily you can't actually notice that if you go into a four hour chart you'll understand what i'm talking about now after that the price actually came down bottomed and then the trend was changed so in a similar aspect you can actually see that the trend it was a fake out here it came back it made a new low now within this here if you actually put say a 12 hour or a four hour chart what i would like to highlight is like we had a trend forming within that but at the end the price moved to the upside so if we uh, as we discussed in our last video we highlighted the pattern which was forming here in between the price went to the downside but it was a fake out it came to the upside and then just broke above now yes this is a four hour chart in which we can see that the price was actually respecting the previous resistant line until here now yes we have actually broken above that we managed to close above that now that's in a four hour chart now if you look at a 12 hour chart you can see the same we uh, broke above that we closed above that so that's like a confirmation that the, there is a change in price action so uh, guys what you have to understand is when there is a change like this you should be aware yeah i'm not stating that the price is going to the all-time highs uh, just the following day or today itself i'm talking like you can see that the volume was actually reducing uh -huh. and at the same time if you draw a line here showing the volume you can understand that there is something changing at this particular moment now if the history is uh, rhyming itself say this area is gonna repeat meaning if we actually like yes yeah, have seen different analysts are drawing lines in a different way for the same pattern say now i've drawn actually connecting uh, these areas say the first touch uh, second uh, third i consider this as a fake out or just it went above it tried to hold on but it couldn't it came back to the trading range then you can see that it repeated one two then again a fake out three then this one is happening so yes it's the same at the bottom it was uh, respecting the support line but at this particular area you can see that the price just came to that area it tested that area then it pushed above it retested that area after the breakout then consolidated a bit a fake out taking the bears in kicking them out and pushing the price high so if you look at the same in the uh, chart as of now what i would like to highlight is the same thing just uh it's not actually a similar hundred percentage like it's more or less we can see the same trend actually so if you look at this you can actually see the first touch is here then the second is here then a fake out then next touch then again repeated that then yes another one uh, tried near that then a fake out they came back down then uh, two other touches nearby that resistance went to the downside respected uh, the support line and then as we can see the price was consolidating and just pumped to the upside but now it's not actually uh, below 
the resistance line whereas it just crossed above that so that's more like we are right here now so we if we are to retest that area then i think yes there will be a fake out like coming back into the trading range and then bouncing to the upside so like it will actually squeeze in more or uh, take in more uh, bears and then uh, push them out or kick them out now looking at uh, btc we can see that this is a uh, long term uh, chart for btc in that we can see that the price was being corrected after this upside move and uh, at this particular area the movement of price was changing like here it doesn't actually put in a new low instead it was like a double bottom then uh, we also had a pattern forming like this a triangle pattern the price was moving like this and then it broke to the upside and it managed to come above the long term resistance line so previously was respecting that area now yes it has to be seen whether the price will act like this as a fake out but here in that daily candle it was a fake out and came back down and closed there but here we actually closed above that so that's more bullish news so if you are to ask me i i'm turning more bullish on btc yes i do hold btc but i think even at this price point it's okay to buy now that's not a financial advice that's my personal perspective now that's all for today you guys and uh, if there is any kind of update i'll bring that to you as soon as uh, possible and again i would like to request you guys if you guys like the content i provide on a regular basis please do support the channel hit the subscribe and like button the, as i'm mentioning this again, again and again i need support from my xrp community members this is a new channel and uh, you know keep to be uh, motivated and to move ahead try to bring out more uh, technical and fundamental news within the community please do support me do support the channel i hope to meet you guys on my next video bye for now